Hello. <sighs> I'm warm. Um, I'm telling you right away that I'm not feeling 100% because of reasons and um, if I'm saying something wrong or weird or if this video is not that shady, I don't know, I never know, <laughs> it's because of that. Um, but I really felt like I want to film because I have been wanting to film for a while and now it's time. And I'm also going to film another thing after and then I really hope, I know I said this in a lot of videos, but I really hope I can start filming my makeup collection. It's a lot of work. It may not look like it when it's starting, but ooh, it's a lot of work. And I should have taken my fan here, but I can do that when I do my face. And Gunvald is not here, so every time I hear a noise, I'm like... What is that? It's so warm. I thought that... Sorry, I'm just going to change that. Uh, I thought that by taking vacation this late, I was not going to have to live with this warm temperature, 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 oh my god, temperature, oh my god, I can't say that word, temperature, temperature, I didn't know that I couldn't say temp temperature, <laughs> well, it's warm, let's leave it at that, did I just, no, I don't know. Oh god, I'm so sorry. But today is part two of my Huda. Oh god, I got red. But yeah, Huda series, uh, Huda Beauty, where I have um, asked a friend to pick out the sh five shades for me. Um, and today it's from the Smoky. This is my second favorite from the first four that was released. Last week I had the electric one. And the thing about this palette is that I bought this simply because of one color, because I bought this before I collected them. And I'm not going to use that color today because uh, my friend who has picked the shades has not picked that shade. And that's kind of one of the fun things because you get, when someone else picks shades for you, they either pick something that they think is challenging, challenging or they pick something that maybe I usually wouldn't do or, you know, stuff like that. So I get to use shades that maybe I shouldn't have used otherwise. It's not that big a difference because there are only nine shades in these palettes. But still, uh, this palette looks like that. And the shade that I, every time I use this palette, I use the silver shade because it's so amazing. But we're not going to use that today. <laughs> uh, and I, when I asked my friends to pick, I only said one matte and at least one shimmer. And otherwise you can pick whatever you want. And today it's Angie from 4F Beauty who has picked. And she picked that black, that uh, warm transition shade. And if I remember correctly, it was these two shimmers here. And then that shade. Oh god, I hope that was... I think that was the shades. Yeah. So we are going to do a look with those five shades today. And I'm so warm. Hang on. It's so warm. And I was... Um, I'm just priming my eyelids. Um, I was in uh, Köpenhamn yesterday. It's Copenhagen, you know, the capital city of Denmark. Uh, I live in Skåne, which is in the south of Sweden. And uh, I live near Malmö, <laughs> which, you know, have the bridge to Denmark. Uh, so we just took the train. I usually don't like going by train, but we took the train uh, and we went for a walk in... Uh, Copenhagen, it's so weird to say because it's called Schöpenham. Um That's like, why do I have glitter there? Schöpenham is like by, by a dock. The docks, you're calling it the docks, right? 
by the docks. That's how you translate Köpenhamn. <laughs> but yeah, oh, did I just prime that eyelid? Can you tell me, did I prime both eyelids? It looks like it. Uh, at least with the MAC pen. Uh, anyway, uh, it was me, my mom and one of her best friends. And her best friend is, you know, she usually goes into Schopenhauer. I'm going to say Schopenhauer. Um, and uh, she knows her way around. Have I not cleaned this brush? Did I put in brushes I have not cleaned? That's weird. Um, yeah. Look what I did. I put it in this glass thing instead. So, you know. Um... See, I'm all over the place. And it's really fun because I said that I want to go to um, Sephora, the flagship door in Denmark, in Copenhagen. And now I'm saying Copenhagen even though I said I was going to say Schopenhauer. I'm going to take the warm brown one. <laughs> and yeah, so that was my goal with the visit. Um, because you are not going to Denmark to find cheaper makeup oh no <laughs> uh, because the swedish crown is um, not at its best right now so everything is very expensive in um, in denmark if we hadn't had that terrible crown everything would have been obviously cheaper because yeah, let, let's not go into that, but yeah, so you're not going there to find, you know, cheaper things. You are going there to find things that you may not find in Sweden. And I must say, I, I was in Sephora and I was in a Mac store and we were at this fancy pants uh, where, warehouse, I was going to say, but just like, you know, Harrods or something like that. Um, and the people that work at those stores are so much nicer and service minded than the people that work in Sweden because if you go into Sephora or Kix or anything it's like you know the the stores around me not all stores but around me uh, and I'm there a lot I'm going to say um, they treat you like you are disturbing them on their work day and I'm not even a terrible customer because usually I don't want any help at all uh, but yeah, they were very service minded and kind at least in Denmark. So I like that. And you know, I understand, we understand Danish. So you don't have to speak English or anything, but you just have to um, show that you are speaking Swedish. Then they will talk um, a little slower and we don't have the same, um, uh, what's it called? The way to count numbers and so on they have a whole different story <laughs> so if you tell them you're swedish or if they hear that they will use normal numbers um, i'm going to take the dark brown but i bought some things and i will show that in my haul oh this was pigmented okay um this is going to be a brown look. Um, but I found some things and you know, when you go to the register and you're like, yay, how cheap. And then when you look at your bank account and you're like, oh no, it's not Swedish crowns, it was Danish. Yeah, never mind. But the thing I was going to say with this long story is that uh, when we uh, travel home, because we were there for six hours and walk, walked around and oh, it was so warm and we ate some food and some pie <laughs> um, and we took the train. <sighs> I don't like taking the train. I don't like being in places I've never been before. Uh, I don't like to go around uh, without having a goal or you know knowing is this far away it it went okay but that's the premise you know I don't like that and I have to take pauses not because I get tired you know in the feet I get that too but 
uh, after one two hours I get stressed and I just want to go home uh, I start to sweat and I get panic and uh, uh, headaches and uh, yeah, I just want to go home and now I know that but I didn't know that before <laughs> But I know that that happens and when that happens I just have to sit down and get something to drink and If I do that for like 10 minutes, then it's fine to go another hour um, But you know, it's a lot of work. So when we were going home I got such a migraine that I almost threw up Um and I couldn't do anything. We were home. I was inside my door at... I were away for 8 hours. No, 9 hours. Because my mom picked me up at 10. And I was home at 7 at night. But yeah. Um, maybe I should have named this video my story about nothing. But yeah, never mind. This is therapy for me, so it's taking twice as long to do my makeup, but never mind. Where are you there? I don't like to, what is this? Why? Um, uh, so I was, you know, when I got home at seven, I went to bed. I didn't even open my packages with my Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. Uh, and then I woke up at 10.30 at night and the migraine was gone because I took a pill uh, against it but the whole evening went away so I couldn't film or anything and today it's like I never been, been what's it called hungover I've never been that because I've never Drank, drunk, drink. I never had such so much alcohol that I have been hung over. God, that is patchy. So I don't know how that feels, but I can guess. Uh, and today it feels like I'm almost hung over because... Yeah, if you have been, you know <laughs> what it feels like. But I'm so low and I have a headache but it's not like you know in your face headache so I can still do stuff but I really just want to lay in bed and watch YouTube but I can't do that because not today <laughs> again because I have stuff to do and I really want to record and I so want to record my makeup collection but I really want to be focused when I do that because it's going to take a lot of energy and I just want to be up for it. But I'm really glad I went to Chippenham. Uh, I found some good stuff and I got a lot of exercise. Now I'm back. Um, and I didn't do my makeup before, um, my face makeup, because I'm do using a black and it fell down. And it's not the best black I've used, but it works. I think I'm going to do a really dark look because I've been out and about. I don't have to go out more today and I don't have Gumbel here, so yeah. Last time, uh, yeah, it was the last time I filmed. I did, you know, the video in the UVS Play series and I had a two-toned look and I had to go out in that and people look. Oh, and I put black over here going to look crazy now, by the way, until I'm finished. I think this is such a good way to try something new <laughs> that you haven't done before with colors you maybe wouldn't have used. I would not have used the black um, if Angie hadn't picked it. Thank you, Angie, for picking some colors that I wouldn't have picked myself then I get to use those as well. I think I'm going to try to do a, uh, I don't think it's called a cut crease when you do it only here, but I'm going to take some concealer over it. 
so that's why I'm not that careful. And thank you all for the support you showed on my... Um, was that my latest video? My latest video or the Zodiac video? The US Place were not my latest video. Oh, I'm so confused. Ugh. But uh, the support you showed on my um, Zodiac video, you're so kind. That's why I stick around and because it's fun. And now I'm red here. Yay. I just want to say thank you. And if there are some comments I haven't responded to, it's because YouTube keep blocking some comments even though I don't know why because they don't use blocked words or anything but mm, and I can't unblock them unless I'm on the computer I can't do that with my phone so if you have written a comment and I have not responded to you unless you were rude <laughs> but I haven't seen any rude comments so far in that video don't put in rude comments um, then I'm going to respond but I will have to do that when I'm on the computer, so I'm sorry. I think there were at least two comments that I saw. I got a notification but I can't see it under the video and that usually means that it's a blocked comment. It's so annoying. God, this looks so patchy. But it's because it's black. I, I like blacks but I rarely use them, so... Yeah, I think I'm going to take some concealer. Are we going to use you for that? Don't I have a concealer brush? Yeah, there, there you are. I'm just using the Revolution one. I think I'm going to cut this out. <laughs> Like that. Let's see if this will be any good. I don't know. I was just thinking about something and then when I got back, got back, I've been here all the time, but now when I'm filming to you, talking to you again, I forgot. I'm just taking a little bit of the dark brown. When you use a black, the black just takes over everything. Um, I'm going to fix that later. I'm going to take the shimmer first. And now it would be nice to have the <laughs> silver shimmer. But that's not what we are going to use. Let's see which shade are we going to use. Hmm. Let's take the one that is more champagne. I don't... You know which shade it is I showed you. It's not like there is a million of them. There is one gold and one champagne. I'm taking the champagne. People always do these halo eyes and they always look so pretty, but I can't make them look pretty. Like even if my life depended on it. I know it's a practice thing. Um, but you know, I don't like to do things I'm not good at, so and still I do YouTube, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Oh, I'm spraying on my book. I'm going to do such a boring video <laughs> after this. You will understand what video it is when you see my makeup collection, but yeah. Um, I have putting I have been putting it off for a long time because I don't feel like doing it. I'm just going to take the go oh that was pigmented. Or not pigmented but soft. I'm just taking this in the end here. This is going to look weird. Like that. Now I'm taking the dark brown. And now I'm going to blend forever. <laughs> so I will probably cut that out so you know. 
but that's what I will be doing, blending these three shades together. Hello, I'm back. Uh, I've changed my mind and I want more gold on the lid, so I will have the champagne shade under my eye. Uh, this was a real challenge and I'm not very pleased with um, uh, hair. I have been blending so much that the hair from the brush comes off. Um, yeah, we'll see. It always looks better when you, um, hopefully, <laughs> when you look, um, when you put on mascara and eyeliner and everything. Now we're going to take that champagne shade under the eye. And in the inner corner. This was a really a tough one, Angie. Good job. Because this was really a challenge. Challenge for me. And that's what's fun about it. It just pains me that I can't use the silvery one. <laughs> and I'm going to take a little, 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 This is dark. <laughs> now I'm going to do my face and I will be back. <laughs> now I'm back. And on the lower lash line, I don't know why I just mentioned this and not the other stuff I have, but I have the Dirty Talk from Colourpop. It's the dirty gold one. I have not used that before. And it's just like not, it's more like you know you get the shimmery effect. I'm so warm. And I have something in my eye, so um, I think my eyes will water up soon. But yeah, this is the finished look. It's really dark. <laughs> uh, and thank you, Anya, for picking these shades. I, Like I said, I would have picked the silver and it would be a different look. And otherwise, it's just browns and black. And that's not my favorite colors. Uh, so it was really a fun challenge to do a look with those shades and especially to work with the black because I often, you know, I don't <laughs> and I don't do halo eyes either and I don't think it went very well now either and I don't think it's even here. Never mind, I'm not going anywhere. Uh, but this is the finished look. I'm so warm. Uh, I think I'm going to have to go lay down a bit now well i'm going to have to record that stupid video uh you will understand why it's stupid i'm just saying and i have glitter everywhere i don't know have i swatched something that is glittery i don't know but this is the finished look either way i think i've said that like four times <laughs> and uh this was part two in my huda series and like i said it's with the a smoky and I, for this one it was Anya from 4F Beauty and you can look down uh, look down no don't look down on her no you can find her channel always linked down below but now she will be a bit higher up uh, in this description box and sorry for being a bit off and I'm so sweaty